Hi, I'm Valerie Getch here with a new Lightroom tutorial. In the last few videos, I've talked about various ways of organizing in Lightroom. Here's another way, stacks. If you open your library grid view and you've got tons of very similar images cluttering up your screen and you find yourself scrolling and scrolling to get to the images you want, you may want to take advantage of the stacking feature in Lightroom. So what is a stack? Well, it's just what it sounds like. Basically, you can group similar images together in a stack and you'll just see one top image as a representative with all of the other images neatly hidden beneath it. So I'll show you how easy it is to do. So I have a group of similar images here of this lamppost and this birds, and I want to group those into a stack just to save some space on my screen. So I'm going to select the first image, hold down my shift key, and then select the last image. And then I have several ways of creating my stack. The first way is to the right click the mouse and click on stacking and click group into stack, which I'll go ahead and do. And the other method is to um, hit control G as a shortcut, or you can also use the menu at the top of the screen, which is photo and stacking and then group into stack. So now we have our images in the, into this nice tidy stack and you can see this little badge here designates that this is a stack with 11 images and you'll also see these little vertical bars here that also indicate that this is a stack. And if you click on one of these bars or click on the badge or else hit the S key on your keyboard, you can expand your stack. And so now you can see that my stack has expanded and I'm going to hit Control D for a sec so that you can, I'm deselecting all, so that you can see that the images in the stack, the, the background of the thumbnail uh, cell is a very dark gray to indicate that these images are part of a stack. And now you'll see these numbers in the corner. This is number one, number two of 11, and so forth, and here's my 11 of 11. And if I wanted to collapse my stack again, I could either hit the S key again, or I can right click on the menu and select stacking and collapse stack. And then we're back to our collapse stack here. So I'm going to expand it again. And then let's say we want to, we don't want to use this photo as our top image in the stack. We want to change it to something else. So one of the easiest way is to simply drag and drop a new image into the first spot here. So let's just take this image and just drag it over to the beginning. And now we have it in our number one spot. You can also just right click on an image and bring up that menu again, stacking. And then you can use this menu to move an image to the top of the stack, up or down in the stack. And you'll also see some of the other options. Um, you can remove this image from the stack. And we'll talk about some of these others um, in a moment. So another shortcut you can use if you want to um, move an image to the top of the stack. Oh, let's just pick this image, highlight it, and then use the shortcut Shift S. And then now this image is at the top of your stack. And you can see that again when we close the stack. I'm going to expand this stack again. And let's say we wanted to add some additional images to it. Well, that's pretty easy to do as well. Uh, you can simply drag and drop new images in. So I'm going to drag and drop these images into our stack. And then now you see we have 14 images. And if you want to remove images or reorder them, again, let's say I want to reorder. I can just move this over here. And if I want to delete an image from a stack, I can just simply drag it. And now it is removed from the stack, and you can see that there's only 13 images. Now, there are times when you may want to split a stack. Say I want to split these two images into their own stack. So I'm going to highlight this image to select it. Click on it to select. And I'm going to right click my mouse. And then under stacking, I'm going to select split stack. 
And then now you'll see that this is one of two images, and this is now one of 11, 11 images. So we have two separate stacks here. And if I decide I don't want this stack, um, I can unstack it by either using the shortcut Shift Control G, or I can right click my mouse, select Stacking, and unstack. And then we have our no more stack. So we're just left with this one stack. You can also use the menu up at the top, photo stacking, that I showed you earlier for all of these commands, but it's just simply easier to use it right when you're clicking on the photo. It's just much faster, I find. There are a couple of other things I wanted to let you know about. You might have noticed that this is another stack here. Lightroom automatically creates a stack when you bring an image into Photoshop for further editing and then back into Lightroom. So both your original RAW or JPEG image and the new Photoshop file will be stacked together. And just to open this up, you can see I have two files. The top one would be the Photoshop file, and then this is my original RAW file. There's something else I wanted to show you that you need to be careful of when you're working with stacks. Um, if your stack is collapsed and you select an image, only that top image is selected. So don't think if I click on this image that I'm selecting the whole stack. I'm really only selecting this top image. So say I ha this is a collection here. I'll show you. I've got um, this is a tutorial here. Um, all of these images are part of a collection. And say I want to remove these images, this stack of four images from this collection. Well, watch what happens. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select remove from collection. Well, what happened? It only removed the top image. If you recall, it said four images. So now there are three. So if I want to remove this entire stack from this collection, I need to expand this stack. And then I need to select them all. And then I can right click and remove these from the collection. And then now they're gone. So this works the same way if you're trying to export images, um, print images. You need to remember that when you're dealing with a stack and it's collapsed, you, anything you do is only affecting that top image, not all of them. So you need to expand the stack. Also, stacking only works within the same folder or collection. And it doesn't work with smart collections or photos in different folders or different collections. And if you're using a version of Lightroom earlier than Lightroom 5, stacking will only work with folders. It doesn't work at all with collections. And one last thing that I will talk about in detail in my next tutorial is Lightroom can also create stacks automatically based on how much time has passed between shots. And this is something I'll get into in greater detail in my next tutorial. So what situations might you want to use stacks? Well, it's very handy if you have a lot of similar shots, but you're not ready to cull them and pick the best one yet, like when you have a series of portraits, for instance. It's also very useful when creating panoramas to stitch together, or when shooting sports and burst modes and have a lot of very similar images. It's especially useful if you're taking bracketed exposures, which are multiple shots of the same scene at different exposures, usually for HDR photos. And if you shoot in both JPEG and RAW images, you can stack them just to show one of them. In my next tutorial, I'll show you how to create automatic stacks, which is useful for some of these situations I just mentioned. Until then, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the like and the subscribe buttons below. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. In the meantime, go out and have fun with your camera, and I'll see you back here soon.